many local animal shelters begin to reach capacity. The city of San Marcos has already hit that threshold with much busier months ahead. KXAN's Lauren Landman learned it is a dismal outlook for many of these animals. From big barks to tiny paws, it's hard to believe that people would abandon their pets or refuse to pick them up from the shelter if they were found. It's sad. Either they don't want to pay fees or they don't want to drive as far. But Cara Montiel says it happens often at the San Marcos Regional Animal Shelter, causing it to reach capacity. On average, she says the shelter takes in more than 6,000 animals a year. Yearly, the shelter tells me they have to euthanize around 50 to 60 percent of all of the animals they take in. Currently, the shelter is full, and with the peak intake season just around the corner, they're concerned that this year could be much worse. When you increase the intake, the influx of animals, and the out, the outgoing of animals or the outflux of animals slows or stays steady, um, that's a recipe for disaster, so to speak, you know. Cara has a team that contacts rescue organizations on a daily basis to help with the overflow, but she says they too are maxed out. Paws would come out and take a load of, of animals every week, and right now they're not able to do that. They might take one or two every couple of weeks. Cara believes many of the animals already have homes. It's just tough to find them. She says the easiest way to get your pet returned is to make sure they are microchipped. Reporting in San Marcos, Lauren Landman, KXAN News. And if you have a pet that does not have a microchip in Hayes County, the animal shelter in San Marcos will do it for just $10 this month. Workers at the San Marcos shelter know how bad weather can quickly bring an influx of animals. Floods over last year's Memorial Day weekend led to a surge of lost pets that pushed the shelter beyond its limits. The San Marcos shelter took in more than 100 animals during the floods. Most came from people who were flooded out of their homes. The shelter had to get some help and ended up transferring dozens of animals to other shelters across Texas to find homes.